Around the world, from Asia to Africa, rice is life. Originating over 15,000 years ago, rice is at the heart of human civilization. It supports industry, inspires culture, and feeds over half of the people on our planet. More people eat rice than any other grain. In Asia alone, more than two billion people obtain their basic sustenance from rice. And in Africa, rice has become the most rapidly growing source of food. But in a world still beset with hunger, malnutrition, and famine, the reliance of the human family on rice will grow even more dramatically in the 21st century. Close to one billion people still face food insecurity every year, and over half of them live in regions dependent on rice. The United Nations Millennium Development Goals call for reducing this number of hungry people in half by the year 2015. But it is clear that attaining this objective will take some exceptional breakthrough achievements as rice production faces serious challenges in terms of declining yield rates, natural resource depletion, and environmental degradation. Acknowledging those facts, the United Nations designated 2004 as the International Year of Rice. This is meant to be a year both to celebrate the role of rice in human history and to inspire further achievements in increasing the quality and quantity of rice available to feed a growing and increasingly hungry global population. It was therefore especially significant that at a ceremony presided over by Secretary of State Colin Powell, United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization Director General Dr. Jacques Diouf and U.S. Secretary of Agriculture Ann Veneman, two scientists who have each made extraordinary advances in increasing the potential of rice to feed the world, were announced as the co-recipients of the 2004 World Food Prize. Professor Yuan Longping of China and Dr. Monty Jones of Sierra Leone. Following graduation from Southwest Agricultural University in China in 1953, Professor Yuan Longping taught crop genetics and plant breeding in Hunan province. A decade later, Professor Yuan unexpectedly found a naturally occurring hybrid rice, an experience that awakened in him a powerful desire to better understand what might be possible. After years of intensive research and testing, Professor Yuan made his historic breakthrough. By his discovery of the genetic process involved, he became the first person ever able to achieve heterosis in rice, a phenomenon in which the offspring of two distinctly different rice plants can grow faster and yield more grain than either parent. Since rice is a self-pollinating crop, it was widely believed that such an achievement was not possible. But by being the first person ever able to isolate the genetic elements involved, Professor Yuan was able to alter the self-pollinating characteristic of rice. This enabled him to produce the world's first commercial hybrid rice, which he called Nanyu No. 2. It transformed rice cultivation in China. With yields 20% above conventional varieties, utilization of Professor Yuan's new rice spread so widely that half of China's total rice producing area is now planted in hybrid rice, providing food for an additional 60 million people each year. Thanks to advances such as Professor Yuan's, China, with only 7% of the world's arable land, now grows food to feed 23% of the world's population. But beyond this exceptional accomplishment, Professor Yuan still had two dreams, to develop an even higher yielding super hybrid rice and to share his knowledge with countries around the world. At the National Research Center he heads, Professor Yuan has produced extraordinary new rice plants with so much grain that they are said to resemble a waterfall. Where planted, these super hybrids have doubled the output of China's average rice crop. And he has circled the globe, sharing his techniques and knowledge about hybrid rice 
with scientists and experts in more than 25 countries. The impact of his work is so profound that Philippine President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo personally nominated Professor Yuan for the World Food Prize. Professor Yuan Longping's extraordinary accomplishments have provided food for hundreds of millions of people. His dreams have indeed become reality. Halfway around the world, Dr. Monty Jones had his own dream, that African scientists could find a way to produce greater quantities of food in Africa from traditional African plants to feed the people of Africa. Trained in genetics and plant biology, Dr. Jones' first assignment was in his home country as part of the Mangrove Swamp Rice Research Project, supported by the West Africa Rice Development Association, known as WARDA. While working in this difficult agricultural setting, Dr. Jones observed that local farmers were very partial to native African rices, but frustrated by their low yields and weak plant structure. As a result, many farmers tended to plant higher yielding Asian rice varieties instead. This experience started Dr. Jones on a decade-long odyssey to find a way to turn those African rice strains, which had been growing on the continent for over 3,000 years, into a source of greater production. Key to his research effort were the gene banks at WARDA, which held seeds from over 1,500 African rice species facing extinction. Dr. Jones spent years in painstaking research in that lab and testing in the field, eventually rising to become leader of WARDA's upland rice breeding program. And then, in an achievement unprecedented in the history of rice breeding, Dr. Jones made an extraordinary breakthrough. He recaptured the genetic potential of these ancient African rices by successfully combining African and Asian rice varieties to produce a stable and fertile offspring with higher yields, shorter growing cycles, and more protein than either of its parents. He called it Narika, new rice for Africa. With the ability gained from its African parent to resist weeds, survive droughts, and thrive on poor soils, and the trait of higher productivity from its Asian ancestor, Narika is a crop capable of increasing farmers' harvests from 50 to 250 percent, with the potential to benefit 20 million rice farmers, most of whom are women, in West Africa alone. And then he and Warda, under the leadership of its Director General Kanayo F. Nwanzi, worked on multiple levels to ensure the widest possible availability of Narika in the 17 countries that support Warda. These efforts are all the more remarkable in that they have taken place in some cases in areas afflicted with political turbulence and violence. But thanks to the vision and dedication of Dr. Monty Jones, Narika is helping to bring peace and increased prosperity to millions of people in West and Central Africa today, and to the rest of Africa and the world tomorrow. Yuan Longping's distinguished accomplishments have caused many to call him the father of hybrid rice. Monty Jones' vision and tireless efforts in producing his new rice for Africa is said to represent a model for future generations of African scientists. And as Secretary of State Colin Powell said of both scientists, they have done great honor to their countries and great service to humankind. It is therefore most fitting that at the culmination of the International Year of Rice and on the occasion of United Nations World Food Day, that from Asia to Africa, the eyes of the world turn to Iowa. As the 2004 World Food Prize is presented to two men who have fulfilled their dreams by helping to feed millions and millions of hungry people. Professor Yuan Longping of China, and Dr. Monty Jones of Sierra Leone.